Um, I wasn't gonna do a post game just because. Hold on, one. All right, we're good. I wasn't gonna do a post game just because it was, it was, it's, you know, it gets late. It gets late. Um, damn. But uh, I, I guess we have to kind of talk about that one, right? We have to. Um, really stinks, man. Really stinks because the Rangers played really good for about thirty minutes. Uh, the first thirty minutes of the game were probably the best I've seen the Rangers play in a very long time. I'll be honest with you. Uh, he, they were dominating. They were in the offensive zone. They weren't letting Pittsburgh get anything. Um, and the Rangers were chilling. And then a penalty was taken. And before that, Lindgren was pushing to the net. Again, if you follow me on Twitter, at Sap Sports, I highly recommend you do. Um, active there all game. Um, I, I'm tweeting. I, I talk about how, well, this is way after the goals already. Before, this is way after Pittsburgh took the lead, I believe, at this point. There's a there's a play with Ryan Lingard and Jeff Carter behind the net. Carter cross checks Lingard in the back. Uh, no call. What really irks me is that the whistle was blown because the net was dislodged after Lingard fell into it and his face went right into the back of the the back of the net by Carter. Again, I wasn't even complaining about no call. What I really was complaining about was that there was a potential two on one with Goudreau and Zabanajad, yet the whistle was blown. The play's going the other way. When was the last time you've seen the play get called dead? Going the other way when the net is knocked off. You, you, the play goes the other way every time. Every time. What the hell was that? Jacqueline, thank you so much for the sub. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. I appreciate it. Um... Yeah, so that's what I was really mad about. And then, obviously, the last play of the game with Zabanejad getting tripped. I'm, you know, I'm going to complain about the refs in a little bit more, obviously. I'm going to talk, keep talking about him. But, I mean, you guys know me. You guys know me. If, if I can say anything right now, I can tell... Where the heck is my freaking phone? My, my screen. I can tell you right now that all 34 of you in chat right now can vouch when I say... I don't ever complain about the referees. Will I get on them a little bit? Sure. But how I am now, I don't think they cost the Rangers the game, by the way. But I do think they were awful tonight. They were so... Even the linesmen. Dude, even the linesmen. I, I, they, the Rangers are getting thrown out every freaking face off. Why? Well, I don't understand. Tell, I don't understand. They sit there. They stand there. They fake drop the puck so you can go. And then all of a sudden, you're getting pulled out of the face off. Uh, what? Very weird, man. Very weird. But the officiating was brutal. But the rest of the Rangers, the Rangers lost. Uh, again, the freaking power play is so good sometimes, the Rangers power play. It's, it's really good. When it's good, it's good. Tonight it was really good, and they, they couldn't bury one. 
they, they just couldn't bury one. The Pittsburgh Penguins won tonight's game simply because of the special teams. The Rangers scored a goal 22 seconds into the game. They couldn't get anything after that except on the power play. Sure, they had a couple good 5-on-5 five five chances, but nothing really grade A after the first 30 minutes of play. So, uh, that's really what happened. That's really what happened in this game. Sure, Kreider gets the two goals. Beautiful goals, by the way. Uh, second one was a nice, really nice move from Trocek, who's finding his game. I love Trocek and Kreider. Listen, the 5-on-5 five five scoring wasn't there tonight. Like I said, it was, a, it was a fluke play by Kreider, the first one. He got the goal. And then, obviously, the beautiful move by Trocek to set up the 2-on-1 with Kreider. Uh, it was huge. It was huge. Uh, Rangers got to try to find a way to score some goals in this game, and they win this game. Uh, if they had one, you know, they were two for three in the penalty kill, so they maybe kill off one other penalty, it'd be great. Um, again, I'm not going to complain about the refs in that sense. I don't think the refs blew this game for the Rangers. Should they have a power play with 30 seconds left? Sure, or whatever it was, yeah. But I'm not going to complain about it. I'm just not going to, you know, harp on that. That's not the reason why the Rangers lost. Um, the reaction video is up, so if you guys want to take a look at that, is in the link in the description. Uh... That is the reaction video. The reaction's a good one. I'll be honest, it's a good one. Uh, so that's up. Leave a like if you're on the stream. If you are enjoying, go leave a like on the reaction video as well. Uh, Rangers Islanders on Thursday. We'll be here for a pregame. We'll have a lot of people over too as well for that game. Uh, but, 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 yeah. So that's on Thursday. Uh, that's what's a 7 o'clock game. So 6.30 pregame probably. All right. Uh, let's get to the chat. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? How are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling? Uh, what are you guys thinking? Let's get to the chat immediately. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm live here. Okay. Just want to make sure we're getting to the live chat. Okay. Good. Uh, b -b -b new streak starts today. Beautiful way to look at it, Coop. Beautiful way to look at it. Him, what's going on? To be fair, this is how the Penguins felt in the playoff series last year. No, sure. Sure. Penguins completely dominated the Rangers in that series with put injuries and the banks threw them over. Of course. I understand the Penguins frustration last year, but, you know, tonight was a new night. I completely understand. Jari was really good tonight, Python. Jari was excellent. Yeah, Justin Jari was really good tonight. He kind of shut my mouth about how he wasn't a good goalie. And, I, you know, I never said he was a good goalie. I never said he was a bad goalie. But I always like to say that Deming, not Deming, uh, Casey to Smith is better than him. And he shut me right up tonight. Uh, so, yeah. Too many posts tonight just wasn't their night. Yeah, sure, they hit a few posts. But you got to freaking, <laughs> exactly, D, too many posts every night. It, it comes to a point where you got to put the puck in the net. You know, it comes to the point where you got to put the puck in the net. Uh, Bobby wants to cry. I'm right with you, Bobby. I'm not there, but. <laughs> Crosby at age 35 is still a top player in the league. And nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about how Sidney Crosby every night dominates. Uh, why isn't it talked about? I don't understand. I don't understand. The guy's amazing. The guy's insane. Probably the best player I'll ever see. Natural player I'll ever see. Maybe with David. Uh, if Blay doesn't take that penalty, uh, the game is ours. Oh, Sammy Blay's not playing again this uh, to this week. He, he'll he go into Christmas break but not playing on Thursday. He's scratched Thursday. I'll tell you that right now. The Rangers lineup looks different on Thursday because Sammy Blay's not playing. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, the air horn, dumb annoying. Dead polio. Yeah, over three in the power play. Absolutely. They played okay. Yeah, they played really good in the first 30 minutes, man. Tristan Jari was huge. Uh, two of your fantasy hockey goalies facing off. The Rangers versus the Islanders. Awesome. Play needs to be sent to the sun. I, I listen. I haven't loved his game. I haven't hated it. But that penalty tonight, I don't even. I don't even care. I don't need him on the fourth line anymore. If he's gonna be crap and take penalties, then no, I don't need him on the fourth line. I think he can get the physicality from elsewhere. I'm sure. I'm sure they'll be fine on that fourth line. Uh, at least New York has better football. <laughs> Go to a security spot for the next game. Maybe that's what I just said. Yeah. Yeah. Blade's gone. Blade. Blade needs to get scratched. Hundred percent. Crosby haunts all of us. <laughs> Can't wait for the Trinity to be broken up. Uh, I hate the pens. Hey, pens fans. Gauthier should be playing over Blay regardless. Woo, I like that statement, Python. I don't know why Blay is even playing. He does nothing. Yeah, listen, I mean, I, I don't know if the Rangers are trying to salvage the trade because the trade's a wash anyway. The trade's a wash. We knew it was a wash from day one. Um, Again, I'm not going to go into details about Bochevich and Blay and all that. And what the, you know, I'm not going to do that. But the expectation for Sammy Blay wasn't to be Pavel Bochevich. It was definitely to be a little bit better than he's playing. I understand the injuries derailed him a little bit, but sometimes it is what it is, and you got to move on from it. I don't know if the Rangers are at that point yet with Sammy Blay, because I really do think the Rangers are a couple fourth-line guys away from having a dominant fourth-line. I really do. I think a glance system with the right key guys on the bottom six, they can easily be a defensive shutdown bottom six. Um... And I think Sammy Blay really could do that. I just don't see a lot of forechecking from him, which is something that the fourth line needs if they want to keep the puck out of their own end. You know, the Rangers and Gallant's system really is defending without 
having to play in your own end. If you're playing the other team's end like they were in the first half hour today, you know, you're going to play fantastic defense because the puck's not in your own end. You know? Rage need to beat the Islanders on Thursday? Yeah, but love to. Hey, what's going on? I uh, give Saps credit. He's one of the most neutral hockey fans. I know I always give credit to the players on opposing teams. Jari Crosby tonight. Listen, I call it like it is. And you guys know that. You, I, call, I call it like it is. There's no point for me to sit here and just hold nonsense, you know? I'll waste everyone's time. Thank you, though. I, sh I appreciate that, him. <laughs> uh, Pence fan. Every fan base is obnoxious, especially to rivals. Great point. <laughs> uh, Blaine lost us the game. I don't, know, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Uh, Amar, what's going on? Good game, good game. Good game. Should have traded Blaine instead of Revo. Could have been none. I think so. They need Mott back? Mott, for, uh, Mott and Broussard. I, I tweeted it out the other day on Twitter. I tweeted out Mott and Broussard, and I think it was for Blay, actually. I think Blay was in the deal. <laughs> hey, Flyers fans, more than anything, Ranger fans are right, <laughs> right behind them. <laughs> Once again, stream buzzing, B-Coop. Yes, it is, B-Coop. The stream is buzzing. Leave a like if you're enjoying. Leave a like if your Penguins won or your Rangers lost. Go watch the reaction video, too. I appreciate that. Did anyone else see Crosby smile when he charged Miller and forced a turnover? Yeah, because he thought he had one there, and he was so happy. But uh, Igor would a good save. Igor was good tonight, by the way. I thought Igor was really big. He had to make some big saves. Both goalies were really good tonight. Uh, honestly, I take this loss over a 5-1 to one to end the winning streak as I've seen the Rangers stayed in, and no matter what, the special team and Blade taking the super penalty. Yeah, Liam, 100% agree with you. I, I Listen, am I upset about the loss? Absolutely. Again, do I think maybe the Rangers should have had a power play with 30 seconds left? Yeah. But listen, it is what it is. You move on. It is a shitty loss because you had a one nothing lead at one point and you were dominating for 30 minutes, man. It seemed like if the Rangers just got one more, they were able to maybe rip it from Pittsburgh. And that's why Pittsburgh makes the playoffs every year. Let's be honest, man. The Pittsburgh Penguins don't make the playoffs every year because they're, they slack in work ethic and slack in skill and lack in skill. They don't do that, man. They're, they're a hardworking team with... One of the best players, maybe two of the best players we'll ever see in Gino and Sid. And that's what happens. They can easily come from behind. They stole two points from the Rangers, at least with the way they played in the first 30 minutes tonight. You know, I, I, you could look at this game maybe back for Pittsburgh and say, you know, that could be a turning point for them this season. They Sure, they're a really good team. They were on, I think they were on a six or seven game winning streak before they lost to Carolina the other night. And they played a really good game against Carolina too. I remember watching that game, but yeah. Listen, that's why the Penguins make the playoffs every year, man. That's really, it really is why. It really is. Um, all right, where am I? I lost chat. I apologize. Blaze been terrible. What a horrible trade, says Steven. I agree. I agree. Uh, good game, Brandon. Congrats, Jacob. I love the rivalry. Rangers-Penguins is always a good rivalry. I think Rangers and Penguins is always a good rivalry. And especially with the last, like, decade of playoff rounds has been really good. What is it? 14-15. 14-15. Uh, 16. Pittsburgh got the best. No, 17, obviously, last year. So they've faced each other four times. Yeah, 14, 15, 16, 21, 22. So that's the Rangers' playoffs against Pittsburgh. And even before that, they played back-to-back -back years. I think it was 08 and 09, maybe. So, yeah, I mean, their, their playoff series has definitely increased the rivalry as well, which has been good. Uh, if the situation is reversed with 40 seconds left and the Rangers player trips and pens, do they haul the penalty? I would hope so. It's a penalty. Dude, I'm, I, if I'm a Penguins fan, I'm so happy right now they didn't call the penalty. But it's a penalty. Disappointed about tonight. A uh, little, little on the refs. Let's say positive. I'm, I'm, I'm saying positive. Absolutely, Prods. Absolutely. Brutal turnovers by Breadman. Trying to do a lot. Chris, you trying to do a lot? Trying to do a lot? Uh, let's go, Pens. Nico, what's going on? Refs sold. <laughs> How annoying is it? Yeah, the, the horn is annoying. I mean, it always has been, and I've hated it since I was a kid. Them in Washington have the worst air horns to get their chance going. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, yeah, it'd be cool, but love another commercial. Call MSG for me. Call the guys over there. I hate when they taunt Igor. It, they do a good job. I'll be honest with you. They do a very good job. <laughs> I'll be cool, thank you. Jacob, what's going on? I'm from Pennsylvania. I like the Penguins. I actually like the Yankees. Awesome. You, you, well, we'll get along. We'll get along. Sure, our hockey teams aren't getting along, but our baseball team will. I uh, lost 4-1 to one today. Uh, I don't know who lost 4-1. to one. Robbed. Robbed? Could have been Diego. Could have been. Can I just say, uh, Igor Chant is the most annoying thing ever. It gets under your skin, though, man. It really does. It gets under my skin when they do it. I'm probably to take. I hate the Islanders drum guy more. Oof. No, I still take Pittsburgh. 
I, you know, it's funny. I take Pittsburgh over Washington too. I just, I hate the, I hate the air horn. I hate it. It's awful. It's they gotta get rid of it. It's, it's actually. If I was sitting in that crowd, oh my god, I'd be so mad. That's going off every ten seconds. I really would be. I really would be. Uh, but but but. Let me check Twitter real quick. Cause I tweeted a lot before. If you aren't following me on Twitter at Sap Sports, go check it out. Uh, but, but, oh my god, I tweeted buzzing. Oh my god. The tweets are absolute. Oh, 1,500 followers on Twitter. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. What do we got? All right. That video, 28 favorites. Thank you, guys. Oh, my God. It's more. I love how I get. I love how I get. <laughs> I really don't care about favorites and, and stuff and retweets on Twitter, but I love how I get them when I'm talking about the refs. <laughs> Pretty funny. Pretty funny. All right. Uh, Lightning lost 4 to 1 at least. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Uh, I don't, the Pens goal horn is actually okay. It's their air horn to get the let's go Pens chant started that I don't like. Uh, I remember when we used the chant Cam, Cam Ward. I probably do. I probably do. Uh, the only chant can even remotely rile me up. <laughs> Pop Van Sucks, low key annoying too. Oh yeah, no, 100%, agree. Agree. I don't like the Pop Van Sucks that chant. Pop Van Sucks chant that much anymore. I think I've grown out of it. Definitely funny when you're a kid, though. I'll be honest with you. If any kid under, like, 15 does a Pop Van Sucks chant, I won't give them heat for it. Because as a kid, it's fun, man. As a kid, it's fun. You sit there and you say someone sucks. It's awesome. It's awesome. I will admit that. But when the, when the adults do it, it's a little uh, a little weird. Please beat the Isles. I'll try, John. I'll try. Who do you think the hottest team in the Metro is? Well, the Rangers definitely were. Maybe you could put them over Pittsburgh right now because of the win. Or, or Pittsburgh over the Rangers now because of that win. So maybe the Pittsburgh. But I think the Rangers are right behind them. I think the Rangers could easily beat the Islanders on, on Thursday too. The Islanders right now are kind of like in a fragile state. They can't score. They're, they're getting good goaltending, but can Sorokin really do it? I mean, really, it, it, the Rangers got to try to find a way to score against the Islanders. They have to. And they've struggled. They really have. Sabres make the playoffs? I think so. I think so. I was at the Pens Arena for the playoff game in May. You hate the air horns. Brutal. Rangers handed them that game. Mm. Air horns and drums shouldn't be allowed to be played during live play, which is very... I need a water bottle. This is devastating. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of agree. Do you play NHL 23? I do not. I do not. Oh my god, I have the hiccups. I have to get a water bottle. I'll be right back. Oh, I didn't mean outro. I didn't mean outro. That's my bad. <laughs> Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Got my water, went to the bathroom as well. Very good, very good. Uh, ba -ba -ba. All right, no, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, yes. My girlfriend Marie is showing me a jacket that I think she might want to get me. It's a ranger jacket, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful, I will admit. Um, okay, I have to skip some of the chat. I do apologize. Just, just say it again. Just say whatever you said again. <laughs> just say whatever you said again, and I'll try to get to it. Uh, I'm going to start with Luke, though. I see Luke. Uh, at least you haven't lost six straight like the Devils. The Devils are on a skid. The Devils are on a skid. Uh, they got to run into the Christmas break. <laughs> That's what they need. That's what the Devils need. They need a little break. Devils are the best team. Uh, Devils are still so far. I think they might still have the lead in points, yeah. Or maybe Boston now, but at least in the Metro, they're still number one. The devil, they are sliding, though. You make a good point, yeah. They are. Yeah, let's not... They are. Actually, I gotta check something else, too. I'm so sorry, guys. I, this is why I don't... This is why sometimes the post games are tough, man. I just have so much to do on this. Okay. Uh, the reaction video is good. Let's see how we're doing on that. Okay. 
uh, ba, ba, ba. as a Pens fan, or he doesn't like the horn either. Proud American, he's pissed. Play as the go, guy's been awful. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of the. Uh, I, listen, I know he's been hurt, and I know he had ACL surgery. I do, I do, but it really just to a point where it's like, mm, is he is he is he benefiting more than he's costing us? But tonight he costed us. So, like, listen. Again, I know he came off an injury, and I've been I've been a very good big advocate of Sammy Blay. But when you play, and he didn't play the third period, but when you play 527 through 40 minutes of play, and you only have one hit, you're not really doing too much, in my opinion. And you're not playing in the offensive zone. That's really what's going on. Nisa, what's going on? How you doing? Uh, Corey, what's going on? Devils are second now to the Canes. Canes took the lead. Canes took the lead. Yeah, Daniel should have been a penalty. It's all right. Canes are at 46 points. The Devils are 44. Penguins are 42. And the Rangers are 41. Beautiful. Hunter, what's going on? Missy the ending of the Pens. Rangers was it an obvious trip at the end. I actually, I wouldn't even say it was obvious, but if you're an NHL referee, you call that. Yeah, like you call that 10 out of 10 times. So you could say it wasn't obvious, but it was definitely a penalty, I think. I, th I think we can all agree, right? That was a penalty. You know, think about it. If your guy's trying to go around you and, and you kind of have the edge on him, or if you're going around a guy and you got the edge on him, you're getting your feet taken out. That's a penalty, man. I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. Rick, Jack Hughes, the best player? No, I still got Panarin over him. Come on. I understand totally. Uh, five day, yeah, busy, man. Busy. It's been busy lately. It's Christmas time, you know? It's always been it's always busy season. Can we at least admit the Flyers stink? <laughs> well, they freaking beat Columbus, I think, right? Dude, Col if you're Columbus, man, how are you going to lose to Philly? That's brutal. How's the weather out on the East Coast? Uh, I was supposed to be... I heard there was supposed to be crazy snow. Yeah, not yet, but right now it's, it's, uh, well, it's like barely below freezing i think it's like 31 outside not snowing yet but apparently there's there might be yeah soon quinn what's going on pen still property <laughs> yeah i try to defend blake give him the benefit of the doubt uh the injury yeah no you and i both need so yeah uh when he does that i cannot defend him on that yeah no listen it is what it is i it is isn't. you move on now I mean, he's not gonna play thursday you know that but his next game it better be good man i don't even know who knows ranger streak is dumb the knicks aren't eight in a row they beat golden state wow good for them they were the favorite in that game, too, I saw. I was a little confused why. I don't know. But good for them. Yeah, it was a penalty, but as a Pants fan, to take the win? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, if I, somebody asked me before if I was a Ranger fan, would I want, like, would I have wanted that called? Um, or, you know, they asked me, like, what was my penalty? It's a penalty. If, if the Rangers took that and it was called, absolutely it's a penalty. It's a stupid penalty, too, if the Rangers took that. Air horns and drums should be used when teams need no momentum, which is usually what they do. This is usually why they do that. They, the Devils do it a lot in the Devils. I read the Devils. The Penguins do it on the power play. The Devils and Rangers offered Hughes for Panarin. You say no. Um, I mean, a general manager would say yeah. I wouldn't, just to make the point. <laughs> but, uh, you know, GMs love that future of Hughes. You know, Panarin doesn't have that future. So, Just playing good. Probably the most surprising thing in the season. Winnipeg, absolutely. Yeah, Johnny Hockey. I don't know what he was thinking when he signed up at Columbus, but... <laughs> What up, Matthew? How you doing? Bush League wins for Pitt. Eh, it is what it is. Great game. Crosby had a wicked goal. Crosby had a great game. Crosby had a great game. Blade needs to be scratched for Gauthier. Gauthier might see himself come in. We'll see that. Thursday score prediction. I'll go 4-3. to three. Curry's hurt. There you go. Knicks fan 93. Beautiful. Beautiful. You're the man. Thank you. Air horns or drums. <laughs> you don't like him? Gauthier better be in for Blade. I think, I think Blade will not play. I, think, I don't think Blaze playing there. I was like, come on. He's out for a few weeks. Well, wow. hmm. it just gets me upset how the refs always want to screw us over in crucial situations. Screw the Ranger button. Uh, Boomer Sizen. You do realize Jari is 10-0-2 in his last 12, and he's, what, 12? No, it's win 13 now, I think, for him. So he's, what, 13-2-2 two two all year? The guy's been playing Unreal. Fox should win Norris. Yeah, I would like that. Why not? Three best teams in the West. I'll go Colorado. I'll go... Winnipeg, and I'll go Minnesota. Why not? Let it fly. I literally just named three random teams except for Colorado. <laughs> uh, Rangers had a ton of good chances. Sluggish in the second. Yeah, the first 30 minutes for the Rangers were solid, Daniel. Really solid. Really solid. Uh, Jari was great. You make a good point, too. Pens might have the worst. <laughs> you want Brendan Oppen here? Would love for him to be here. Uh, that game would have been amazing to win. Absolutely, Kevin. If they could have tied it up there at the end, oh, I would have been buzzing. Uh, I'm sorry, but, 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 but 
The Crosby is greater than McDavid. Oh, I've been love. I've been on that wagon for a while. I've been on that wagon for a while. How many guys have glad bench in that third tonight? Uh, I feel like I've seen the same line almost every shift. Like Brzezinski had more minutes than Kravtsov. Brzezinski had a really good third period. I'm actually happy he was out there. Sam and Joe on the broadcast said that Kako was benched. He, I don't think he was. I just think he missed the shift because they wanted a certain matchup. I don't think it was more Kako because he got she had shifts in the third. Because when when they were saying it on the broadcast, I was like, I just saw Kako twice. I was like, he was on back to back shifts. Kravtsov played seven eighteen tonight, and listen, th did he deserve to play more? I don't, I don't think so, right? The way that you know the kids were playing tonight, five on five. I don't know, I think they played good too. Uh, Lafreniere played fourteen twenty two. Yeah, so listen, tonight was the first lines of Banajad, Panarin, and Goudreau, with the second line being Kreider, VZ, Trocheck. Hundred percent. The other line was a kid line; they got less ice time, but they still had a good game. I thought. Yeah, see, Kako played fifteen minutes. He didn't get benched tonight. It was just Blay who was benched. I think they made a mistake on the broadcast. Sam and Joe do that all the time, too. Sam and Joe does it all the time. They don't even realize. Sam and Joe don't even realize that the Rangers will be in the middle of a change, and they'll think that the Gallant switch up the lines. Like, if the fourth line's out there, and Zabanjad just stays out there, you know, he can't get off for... Uh, you know, the fourth line center, and it's a bad jab with, like, you know, Blay and Gauthier, and all of a sudden, set you hear Joe go, yeah, Gauthier's out here with, or Zabanajab, but Gauthier and Blay now, Glenn switching it up, trying to find some offense, and then Zabanajab goes off two seconds later because he's in the middle of the shift. They always do that. They always make mistakes. It is what it is. It's a fast game. I can understand that, but, you know, sometimes it just, you know, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look good. All right. I appreciate every single one of you guys so much. Please leave a like on the stream. I'm an AI going. I, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Big game, Rangers Islanders. Like I said, leave a like. Please go watch the reaction video if you had not already. I really would appreciate that. Uh, Rangers lose 3-2 to the Pittsburgh Penguins in Pittsburgh. They're probably currently on their way home right now to play the New York Islanders on Thursday. I will see you right here around 6.30 for Rangers Islanders on Thursday night. Last game before the Christmas break, it's always, always, always sweet to get a win right before Christmas. It'd be a great Christmas gift for me. Uh, and we'll have, a lot, we'll have a lot of people here. We have a few people coming over, celebrating little festivities here for the holidays. Enjoy a nice Thursday night. I actually thought the game was Friday, but it's actually Thursday. Uh, but yeah, guys, like I said, leave a like. I really would appreciate that. Go watch the reaction video. Follow me on everything else. I, I'll see you guys later. Uh... Let's see. Let's see. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. I really do. I really do. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. It's hump day. Let's get over it. Um, follow me on TikTok at Sap Sports. I'm going to post some stuff uh, now. Actually, I'm going to do some stuff when I get off stream. I'm going to post some stuff on TikTok as well as YouTube shorts as well. Follow me on Twitter at Sap Sports. I'm Mikey Saps on Instagram at MikeySaps311. Uh, so I appreciate it again, like I said, and I'll see you guys soon.